Well, that race was per for the course, wasn't it? Um, Tanzanite tricks I'm referring to, although I could use most of the day. Uh, I did a video this morning talking about a number of things. Obviously, the lockdown dominated the first half of the video for the most part. I uh, talked about the qualifiers, how I guess mildly pleased I was. And then I got to go home, won my heart Hanover, fourth place third. You know, she's, she's got to put in a little bit more of an effort than that. I, I wasn't displeased. I mean, I'd maybe just expect a little more. Uh, and then Aguilar AM talking about expecting more. Uh, I had talked to Tony Hall earlier in the week and asked him, uh, you know, not to put her on the front. I know she was a little bit aggressive. Uh, she looks like she put a little step in at the half and rolled off, which is incredibly rare for this filly. Uh, and then obviously you saw the remnants of what took place afterwards. You know, I don't want this filly roughed up. I think this is an incredibly good filly. And uh, racing happens. You know, that happens in racing sometimes that uh, horses get raced hard. And, um, you know, we try not to let it happen uh, happen again. So, um, in haste, I had said to Tim that I will go to the U.S. next week and race. Uh, I did have a, a very constructive conversation with Jim Lawson on the way here tonight about what they're trying to do. They have um, they have reached out to uh, the provincial government. The provincial government actually reached out to him, if I'm not mistaken, and said, uh, you know, they were looking for a compromise here. You know, athletes can race or can, can work and train uh, high-performance athletes, so hockey players, you know, basketball players, heavy, whatever. Uh, they, can, they can operate their, their, their leagues, their teams, and there is a specific sentence put in there, really just, uh, it literally says high performance athletes are exempt, except horse racing virtually is paraphrase. That's what it says. So um, I don't know why they put it in there like that, but as long as, it, as it's in there during a gray uh, lockdown, we can't race. So is there a workaround? Is there a way to massage that language? Is there a way around that sentence? And I think the easiest way is to, um, I think Jim's done a great job. And, and what he'd done was uh, reach out to the premier and said, hey, if we get, and you can see the you can see the write-up on Standard Break Canada, if we get the local, so the, the municipal um, health authority, which would be Milton, to sign off that, that it appears that Woodbine Mohawk Park is safe to uh, resume racing during this great lockdown, that they would... Um, I guess they're never, they're like lawyers, right? They never ever say anything in final speak. But it was uh, it was assumed, it was taken by, by Jim, I guess, that uh, they would be able to resume racing. So it's Easter weekend, right? You're not gonna be able to get in touch with anybody till Tuesday or Wednesday. Now when it came to our mass exodus, I found maybe 20 horses I could leave immediately. Now this is how fluid the situation is. We found 20 horses I could leave immediately. I picked up the phone. I called Billy Davis, Billy Davis Race in Buffalo. Who do you train? Who do you drive for? Can you give me that trainer's number? Uh, we have some horses that could easily go there. Even a horse like Oso Pine in the open at Buffalo would be great, a great fit. One o'clock, I called the race secretary, had a very constructive conversation with him. He had said to me, no problem. I said, hey, sir, um, you tell me what classes you need horses for and we will fill that order. How's that? Uh, he said, no problem, thank you very much. Uh, let me know what horses you have. I'll let you know what classes. We, we're in desperate need of horses. He says, we definitely need an open trotter, which would be a great fit for either Taimo Houdini or, and or uh, Oso Pine. Uh, that was 1 p.m. 4 p.m. I get a text from that very same race secretary saying the general manager of Buffalo has just closed the track off to all Canadian horses. That is what we're dealing with. So I, I don't want to just pigeonhole New York and saying this because... Most tracks have classes written. Uh, so the Meadows, you guys have run into this with us where it's PA owned or sired, right? Ohio owned or sired, New Jersey owned or sired. They protect their own, but up in those open classes, they're not PA owned or sired, Ohio owned or sired, preferred. They're open races, but in New York at Buffalo, they protect their own horsemen uh, to such an extent. A part of me applauds this, and part of me is kind of a little disgusted by it, but to each his own. I, I understand they want to they want to protect their own uh, their own horsemen, their own horse pools. So um, within a span of three hours, they have <laughs> locked down New York, and there is no 
course, is coming from our uh, or any Canadian trainer that has shows Canadian lines with Canadian owners to New York. Virtually the way they said it to me was, yeah, you can race here if your horse is owned in Buffalo or trained in Buffalo and gets an okay from the general manager and the race secretary. So I guess we're not racing in Buffalo. Uh, that leaves, I'm going to reach out and talk to a couple of people. Uh, Broadway Roll made a break tonight. Uh, very disappointed with that performance. That was a filly that I was thinking maybe we could send to even Saratoga and see how she did there. Uh, we have a number of options. But I have to be careful. In my conversation with Jim Lawson, I said, listen, I don't want to be hasty, but I do have a responsibility to our clients, to the stable.ca, to my family, my wife and kids. Uh, to make sure this runs as fluidly as it can. And sometimes we have to pivot. Having said that, I don't want to make any knee-jerk reactions. Uh, I Could you do me a favor and let me know at your earliest convenience how you believe the temperature in Ontario, more specifically in Milton, Ontario, how that health, um, health unit perceives racing at Mohawk. If you run into somebody that's a little prickly and really wants, keep, put yourself in their shoes, the health people. They don't want to be the person that signs off in a Mohawk Woodbine Park being able to race and then an outbreak occurs at Mohawk Woodbine Park. Bye-bye job. So um, I just need to, uh, a barometer. And in that time, we can start drawing blood for some of these horses. Now, keep in mind, as I said, it's Easter weekend. Uh, can't draw papers on Friday. Can't draw papers on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Earliest we can begin drawing them is Tuesday. Earliest we'll get them back is Thursday morning. We can enter horses probably for Friday. Bramer's class goes, now that's not true, Bramer has his papers. He can leave and he will leave uh, to go to the Meadows, but will I? I got a lot of responsibilities here after a Glary M's break today. I almost felt like I wanted to get in the car and leave then, right then. But I told Tim, uh, I don't need to be listed on Captain's Maid, right? I don't know what Jason has for Wednesday. The earliest I could head to the United States is Thursday. I would like to have like Jason did, have a vaccine set up. And then over the next two weeks, we have the kids at spring break. Uh, that may be a good thing or a bad thing for Amy. There's just so much going on. So I, I just please bear with me. My mind is going a million miles a minute. I'm trying to get everything done for everybody. The stable is my number one priority. My family and the stable is. Uh, if they're, they sent some very sketchy language out today in regards to our children, um, we will be... Uh, the, there will be in-class learning virtually unless we change our mind or the, the province changes its mind so uh, be ready for online learning if that's the route we take now online learning I can assure you will mean most definitely uh, the McDonald family will take up residence south of the border um, and we'll ride it out there <coughs> my biggest fear <coughs> my biggest fear is that uh, four weeks is not four weeks we have to be ready for that so um, I, I wish Jim Lawson all the luck and we are going to help Jim Lawson this is going to be the second time I ask you for a favor I'm going to ask everybody to start a vigorous email writing campaign I am going to get the emails for the Milton Provincial Representative the Health uh, Minister the, the Premier we have but we'll, we'll, read, we'll have it again on our email this week and multiple times on our videos and he's also going to try and get me the Municipal Health uh, Liaisons uh, email. So um, I, I will give you the information. I will beg of you to send. It doesn't matter whether you live in Milton or New York or Mars. It really doesn't. You have a vested interest in Ontario. You have a vested interest in horse racing. And the, the health record of horse racing speaks for itself across the board. I, I don't think there is a safer sport. You hear about basketball teams and players and uh, tournaments being canceled and hockey games being postponed and everything everything else of the sort not horse racing We've got a couple of outbreaks a couple of cases but no outbreaks in horse racing across the board we've done a great job as an industry and I think that uh, that I, I, I want to stop short of saying should be rewarded we should be giving the due we should be given the due respect that we deserve and we should be able to race and every little bit counts. So we are going to start our own email letter writing campaign. I appreciate it. And, and uh, hopefully you will join me in this effort. As it goes to tonight, Tanzanite Tricks. Uh, if you go back and look at the qualifiers today, you heard me talk about how the flip-flops are really posing a problem um, for our horses this morning. Adrenaline rush, mostly. Uh, more particularly, adrenaline rush. Had a real problem with um, 
I had a real problem with the flip-flops today. Tanzanite Tricks wears flip-flops. Every time I went to ask her to get up into top speed, and I know it's not lameness, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, every time I asked her to get up into top speed, whether it was at the recall, that didn't help, uh, leaving the gate, starting up in the backfield, or closing up down the lane, she put a couple of steps in, got out of gear, and I could see her shift her hind end. She's looking for traction. She's looking not to hit herself. She's kind of scrubbing at herself a little bit with those flip-flops on up front. Now, the reason I say it's not lameness, took the head pull off her. She used to run in real good in the turns. Didn't even have a head pull on this Philly tonight. Just a Murphy blind on the left. She's getting sounder. She's getting better. Uh, we can take a little bit of this time off to put some weight on her and let her relax. I is she going to go out and win in 55? No, but I think she's a pretty useful horse. Uh, a pretty useful horse in general. So um, I'm not concerned with tonight. From what My takeaway from tonight is we got to get those flip-flops off this Philly. So that is Tanzanite Tricks. Uh, Broadway roll, obviously a little disappointed she made a break. I know I've been where Travis is. Coming out of the gate, she felt great. He tapped her on the tail of the crossover in front of some deadwood. She rolled off. She'll do that. She's done it on me. She did it on him. But still, you want to... We're off potentially for a month. Travis was trying to get all the money he could. I don't blame him. Um, as it comes to those horses, they're coming back. All of them. Uh, tomorrow night, we will race uh, Italian Grit from Post 8. Thank you again. And then um, Tamo Houdini, who's gone to Steve Boston's, is coming back. I just spoke to Steve. Um, don't believe me, just watch. Is coming back. Never got to race him on Sunday. We had five, six entered for Sunday. Can't race. Um, uh, also, the other two horses are coming back. Uh, Broadway Roll and Italian Great. So where we race those horses, what we do with them, it's still a very fluid situation, as you can hear in my voice. There's obviously a lot of tension in what took place today, the news that we heard. And how we address that and how we move forward is going to be, it needs to be done right. So bear with me. We are going to begin drawing papers on those horses next week. I am going to put a clear plan together for what we're going to do. But during all this on the back burner, I'm keeping a very close eye on whether Woodbine's four weeks is actually 10 days, two weeks. That would be best case scenario. A lot of these horses I don't want to leave Ontario with. And if I don't have to, I'd rather not. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. So, um, not a great day at the track. Won my hard hand over fourth place, fourth place third race. Good. Uh, Aglair AM is by far the best horse in that series. I think anybody that thought she wasn't uh, can clearly see that she is. Uh, that She is probably playing a big role in me leaving. If I do leave next week, it will mostly be precipitated by her. Um, so we have Aglair AM, won my hard hand over. Uh, Broadway Royal made a break. She'll have to qualify now, no matter what we do with her. And Tanzanite Tricks, uh, flat, but I'm pretty sure I know why. So tomorrow's a new day. We got a couple of horses racing tomorrow. Um, we're gearing up for the Hackett. We had a number of people ask about why I'm a lovely lady is in the Hackett. I can tell you why. They had 13 horses entered in the Hackett. The race secretary called Jason, looked for a horse. Sure, we can race I'm a lovely lady. I had somebody say, well, we shouldn't have. I'm well, sure she should have. Why, why shouldn't she? You think she's not a good horse all of a sudden? She got a poor drive the other night, a very, and I'm, listen, as a driver, I get it. You know, Luke Ibersaw, I guarantee you, wishes he had that drive back. It's not the end of the world, it's racing. But I'm a lovely lady, she's tough. I think she proved that last year when she qualified, when she raced in a fair and then come back four days later and trotted in 57 at Northfield. Tough filly, don't worry about I'm a lovely lady. Um, she's tighter now, stronger now. We'll see how she does in Miami Valley. So. Uh, that is your video for tonight, your little bonus video, a little, little blabbering by Anthony, but I think it's warranted. Uh, a lot going on, a lot for us to take in, and a lot of questions that you're going to have that you're going to look at, look for answers for, I'm doing the best I can. I will uh, continue to work on a plan, and at least one, if not two, contingency plans for next week. One way or another, there's likely to be quite a bit of movement in the very near future. Take care.